In this triad exercise, we're asked to find the domain and range of a relation that's given by specific points. So we'll start with part A, find the domain of the relation. So anytime we're given a relation that is specific points, the domain is the set of x values. So using so set notation, we'll put our little squiggly bra bracket over here. And we can see that our x values, and typically they're in order. They don't necessarily have to be, but we should put them uh, in order. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So our domain is simply going to be the set of the x values, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now part B, we're asked to find the range. Again, when we're given a set uh, of points that make up the relation, our range consists of the y values. So our range in this case is going to be 1, 8, 27, 64, and 125. And they're already in order for us. So our range is going to be 1, 8, 27, 64, and 125. And again, when we're given a relation that's defined by a set of points, the domain is the x values, the set of the x values, and the range is the set of the y values, and it's that simple.